I can set the stage. Josh Richards, myself, probably the weirdest combo. Dave Portnoy, since your yeah. crowd's not going to know it. That's the weird thing I'm always with you. Mm -hmm. Usually whenever I do anything, everyone knows who I am. I know your crowd's not going to know who I am. No, they're going to. vice versa. They're probably going to think like they saw you flirting with their grandma at the retirement home or something. Tough. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, tough. What, that's, that's what I'm thinking. But yours are going to probably think like, this kid doesn't play hockey. It's just going to be that all over. The, there's a chance they're not going to like you. Your crowd may not like me. Who fucking knows? But so we're going to try this podcast. I don't even know how it came about. It's very right. odd. Very, very odd. Came from the Chase Hudson thing. Yes. So you, you got, there was a beef with him on Twitter. I talked about it. I'm like, what's going on here? And then your, yeah. your guy, your man, your Michael. your Michael, Michael, who's like, we say in the car, one of the weirdest dudes I've ever met. <laughs> and, and he'll probably become like a focus because you've been around now. And he, he is your business manager. Is that what he a is? Your business partner. Business yeah. partner. Biggest name dropper of all time. I'm not Fuck a name yeah. drop guy. And I don't know anybody he's fucking talking about. But he set this up. What is? Are we sticking with BFFs as the name of it? I, I think that's what we were going yeah, with. Like yeah, like best friends, even though yeah. we're like clearly not. Yeah, we've been best friends for what, three days now? Three days. Three days ago, two days ago. So to give the background for your crowd, I'm Dave Port and I started Barstool Sports. Been around for like two decades. I've seen everything on the internet. Yeah. To me, you've been doing it actually longer than I thought, but you're a TikTok guy to me. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I mean, uh, for Dave's fans, uh, I'm Josh Richards. I've been doing social media for four years now. Started with the TikTok thing, uh, moved into YouTube, and then I'm doing a lot on the entrepreneurial side, uh, getting equity in companies and starting my own energy drink, Any Energy. So yeah. yeah, and I tasted it. It's pretty good. Michael, being your guy, is like, let me send you a shit ton of it. It's like, I got so much fucking drinks. I don't need any more drinks. Right. Like, no, I Michael. Know. Michael's gonna be in on you about that. You're gonna have 40 cases. When Trust me, home. I know. Michael's gonna get thrown out a fucking window if as this relationship goes on. <laughs> it's gonna be like, all right, dude, I get it. But so yeah, it's two different worlds, and in my and probably. So we did. If we're backing it up, when the little huddy, and for little huddy is a TikToker who is dating. Um, I always pronounce her in yeah, uh, yeah. DeMaio. DeMaio, yeah, D'Amelio. Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. 100%. Who's like the queen of TikTok, basically. Yeah, yeah. She was the first. I remember she was in the Barstool offices, I want to say like six months ago, and someone told me, I was like, I don't know who that is. Next thing I know, she got 90 million followers. I saw videos of her. It's like she's the Beatles when she's walking around. 100%. So this came out because now they were dating. Little Huddy, yeah. who dresses like an asshole. A little bit, yeah. He for he he's like an emo. He dressed like an emo weirdo for those people listening. But he was dating her number one girl. He does. You laugh, but that's how he dressed. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's his style. He 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 dresses. I think they call it e boy. E boy. It's okay. like emotional boy. I think that's so what it stands for. They were dating. Then he was trying to hit on your girlfriend. Yeah. And it became a big thing, big enough where it transferred from TikTok to people were talking about it on Twitter. And that's when I, I'm like, what the fuck's going on? And that's how this all started. And then we did the uh, Instagram Live, and I had no idea what to expect because no. my interpretation of TikTokers, like, I have nothing in common with them. I probably won't like them. I thought the our, our uh, Instagram Live, like, went pretty good. I'm like, oh, yeah. this is a normal dude. Like, I, I can, like, talk to him normally. Yeah, no, definitely got traction. We we were definitely uh, feeding Lil Huddy some shots left and right. Yeah, well, roasting him a little bit. Right, we, we want you to fight him. Uh, of course, As yeah. there's, and now we, li I mean, we're not live. I assume we can be live. As we say fight, there's, like, a video out of you, like, <laughs> people know that you throwing punches uh yeah they know they right, know so it's you're on tmz you don't give a fuck like don't seem to care it's there i mean i think it's like we we don't condone like just going around and fighting people, so what happened right? with this fight uh so pretty much what happened is this this guy punched one of my friends right and then why uh my friend was being an idiot he was drunk so he deserved to get punched I mean, I don't think he deserved to get punched because we calmed the situation down. Like, he, he, he went and, like, threw a cone in the air, and it landed on this girl's like traffic cone. Yeah, like a little traffic yeah, yeah, cone. Yeah. And then I walked up to the girl uh, with my two friends, and we started talking to her, and we were apologizing. We are like, our friend is drunk as fuck. He's being belligerent. He's an idiot. And then she forgave us. We keep going. We're trying to get in our Uber to go to this, uh, I think, like, we were going to someone's house. And then... This guy walks out of Mel's yelling, like screaming. Mel's and diner, he, famous LA yeah. diner. And and he he's he's yelling at uh, us saying who hit his car. And then our, our friend responds and says it was him. And then he just comes over and bop. How old was this guy? 
This guy was probably, I mean, he had full beard. Like, I'm talking, like, maybe more impressive than your beard. I mean, that shows the age when you're, like, how old. It's like, well, he could grow a beard. Yeah. Like, I, mean, I mean, he was old. I can't grow a beard. Right. Right. So, so, like, I mean, I think you're 22. You can fucking grow a beard. Fuck. So, maybe he was 35. <laughs> that should give you a sense of the difference here. I do have full beard, but it's like, well, this fucking dude's old. He had a beard. He had fucking facial hair. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking wild. No. Uh, he was, I mean, yeah, he was probably 35. He was, like. Was he a big dude? I think he was probably, like, two, over 200 pounds. Oh, so big dude yeah he's probably like 200 210 okay yeah so that happened he throws a punch and then you guys all like piled on him yeah we get we brought him to the ground did was he like were there any injuries uh nothing serious like we talked to the guy after that's too. what you said yeah so we talked to the guy and like we it was a weird conversation um but pretty much we we s settled things like everyone was calmed down and then we left